Good morning everyone. I am going to be doing another one of my how-to videos today. The last time I did how to loose powder foundation and today I'm going to do how to pressed powder foundation and the foundation that I'm going to be using today is the Tarte Confidence Creamy Powder Foundation and this is what the packaging looks like. It's really hard to see with the lighting but here is the powder foundation. I have the shade Light Neutral and this is like the little packaging that it comes in. I always keep it in the case because I feel like if I drop it in the case it's not going to break as easily. And these are really cool too because if you want to pop this out and pop it in a Z palette, you can. All you have to do is put a, I just have a mechanical pencil here, there's a little hole in the back and I just keep my hand here and you can just push it through and it pops it right out and here it is in the pan and yeah I really appreciate that because I know a lot of people pop these into a Z palette and then here's your little case here. So I'm going to pop this back in here though because I like it in this little protective covering. And yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys that really quick because I know a lot of people don't know that, but if you ever see the hole in the back of the container, then you know that that's one that you can pop into a Z palette very, very easily. So just wanted to point that out really quick. But today we are gonna be doing the same type of process. I'm not gonna go through the whole thing. I'm just gonna kind of speed through it. But the products I'm gonna be using today are again the Paracone MD Hydrating Cloud Cream for my moisturizer. I did use a face mask today as a moisturizer and I let it completely set down and dry first. So I have had that on this morning and I'm also going to be using the MAC Strobe Cream on my highlighted points because I like to use that when I use my pressed powder foundation. So those are the ones I'm going to be using today and I'm also going to be using a regular uh, primer today as well. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. tone adjusting primer. It's in the green shade. So yeah, I'm just gonna do that really quick and then speed through this and I will come right back to you. Okay, so I did my moisturizer first all over my face, and then I did my e.l.f. tone adjusting face primer just in my T-zone, and then I did my MAC strobe cream on my highlighted points on my cheekbones, right here on my nose and on my chin. So yeah, let's get into the application process. So you guys saw the last time I pointed out two different brushes. I can link that video down below too if you want me to go more in detail on explaining, but since I've already explained them once, I'm not going to again, but I'm gonna once again use my Love is the Foundation brush. I did clean it off from the last time that I used it yesterday because I haven't done makeup yet today. So yeah. I am going to go in with my powder here and I'm going to do the exact same thing. Um, let's not blind you. So I'm going to press it into this and I'm actually going to swirl it around and get quite a bit of powder pickup. Same thing as yesterday. I'm going to press it into my high points first or my main areas first. And my main areas, like I said, are my cheeks. So I'm gonna spread it and this time I'm not pressing it in like I did with the loose powder. I'm actually rubbing it over the skin very slowly and softly, but I'm pressing into my skin. So then I did one cheek and I'll do the other cheek. When I first lay the color down, I press it in and then I rub. And I'm fading it down and I'm fading it to the center and I'm fading it up. And then next I'm gonna do my forehead. It's important that you get all the way to your hairline and your forehead, otherwise you will have a line. And I don't like having that line. 
And then I do a good amount on my chin and on my upper lip so that they are the same color <laughs> as everything else. And then I fade it down to my neck. So as you can see, this is a much lighter coverage foundation. I do like this foundation on the regular. This one and my Bare Minerals one, I use pretty interchangeably, just kind of however I'm feeling that day. If I'm feeling like I little, want a little bit more coverage, I'll use the Bare Minerals. If I'm feeling like I just want to hurry up and have a little bit less coverage, I use the Tarte. So these are my two favorites. I do have other ones that I can link my top five powder foundations down below as well. I go through which ones are my favorite and why, but yeah, so I'm just kind of popping it in here and just kind of going over a little bit more for a little bit extra coverage. You don't need to do that if you don't want to. And then I sometimes go over my eyes as well just because I have a little bit of veining and a little bit of coloration on my eyes. So that way it kind of cancels everything out so I don't have to do extra steps when I do my eyeshadow. So that is literally it. I didn't do a natural side and a full coverage side this time because the pressed powder foundation is a lot harder to get a more full coverage look out of just in my own personal you know usage i mean i guess you can get a little bit more full coverage full coverage if you want to layer it on more but then it starts to look cakey so personally if i want more full coverage i'll go with the loose powder foundation if i want more of a natural look then i'll go for this powder foundation so Today, this is all I'm going to be doing for my foundation. I'm going to put the rest of my face on, but I want to go through some pros and cons with the pressed powder foundation. So personally, these are all just my personal opinions. This is even faster than the loose powder foundation because as you saw, the loose powder foundation, you have to put into the lid, dip your brush in the lid, pat your brush off, do all those extra steps. But with this one, you just press it in, rub it all over, make sure it's even, and you're good to go. Like literally, I can do this in maybe 10 seconds in the morning. And my loose powder foundation is more like a minute in the morning. So for me, it's so much faster and I do love the natural finish look. So personally, I don't need full coverage and I don't want full coverage. So this natural finish with this powder foundation is perfect for me. I don't mind showing a little bit of my imperfections and my moles and my freckles. I don't mind showing any of that because I don't want to look like I have a face painted on. Does that make sense? I know a lot of people love that look and it looks beautiful on so many people, but for me, it just doesn't feel right. So I don't do it. <laughs> and even when I wear my liquid foundations, I just don't like that full, full coverage look. So furthermore, besides the fact that it is lickety split fast, I just traveling with this and the fact that it's not messy at all is amazing. So I, like I said, I always keep it in this, so I feel like it's more protected if I drop it. But traveling, it's so slim and compact. It's super easy. You can bring one of those um, short kabuki brushes that are just like super short if you want. But like I said, I always bring this one. But yeah, that's it's super easy to travel with. It doesn't, I mean, I've dropped this at least five or six times on my hard floor in my office and it hasn't broken. And then even if it does break, it's super easy to press back together. It's just a pressed powder. So you just mix it in with a little bit of alcohol, set it down, let it dry and it's good to go. So the only con that I have for a pressed powder foundation is if you don't properly moisturize your skin, it does cling onto dry spots, especially when you're rubbing the brush in. So like when we were rubbing the brush in, it will cling to those dry spots if you haven't properly moisturized your skin. If you are pressing it in, if you take the time to press it in, you'll get a more full coverage look and it won't cling onto those dry spots as much, but it looks a little bit heavier on the skin. So 
Personally, I just make sure I really, really take the time to moisturize in the morning and get that hydration laid down first before I put on my pressed powder foundation, and it turns out great. So that was my short little how to use pressed powder foundation. I also make sure I blend it down my neck and into my ears and my hairline, because otherwise you can see the lines, especially if it's not like your perfect exact color. I actually have three shades of this. This is my lightest shade I have right now. I have a transition shade that's between this one and my darkest shade, and then I have my darkest shade for the summertime when I am tan. Hopefully I'll be tan when I come back from Florida, so we'll see how that goes. But I plan on wearing lots of SPF and making sure that my skin stays nice and healthy. But anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this quick little demo on how to apply pressed powder foundation. I know it wasn't as long as the other one, but I don't feel like I need to re-explain a lot of the different processes because I've already done that in my other video, which like I said, I will link down below for you. But I hope you guys all have a wonderful day or night wherever you are, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.